So, like I mentioned, um, we're going to be playing Power Slave today. Been meaning to do this for a little while. I uh, just wanted to finish up <coughs> the Doom Eternal Ancient Gods DLC playthrough before we uh, moved on to something else. <coughs> so, and I, I picked this up maybe about a week or so prior to uh, the DLC being released. So, <coughs> sorry, one moment. <coughs> throat clear. Uh, so basically what this is, is uh, this is Power Slave EX, which is essentially a source port of the Sega Saturn version of this game. Um, this game had three releases back in the day. It had the Sega Saturn one, uh, it had the PlayStation 1, and it was also out on PC. It was a DOS release. The one that I played was the DOS uh, release back then. And the, the weird thing about this game is that all three releases are significantly different. Um, and I think it's generally accepted that the Sega Saturn version is the best of the three. So I'm glad that that's what they ended up going with in creating this release. Um, but it's it's got its own... Uh, qualities that separate it from a lot of the other games that were uh, out at the time. It's not just a straight run and gun like uh, Doom or uh, what the hell's his name, Duke Nukem, or games like that. It's got a little bit more of a platforming element to it, uh, and there's like a map that you use in between levels, and you can basically choose which level you're going to and return to levels once you have different. Um, abilities or items that allow you to get into places you didn't have access to initially. So you'll see what I'm talking about as we go along here. Uh, I'm just going to take this bottom slot. So here's the map. Um, as you can see, we don't have any other options right now because we haven't gone anywhere, but let's start at the tooth. Actually, sure, I don't think there's anything over there. I've played through a decent chunk of this game, but I have not played through the entire thing. Okay, so... One thing about how this game works is that, uh... You basically have a universal ammo type. This is a health pickup, not an ammo one. Uh, but you have a universal ammo pickup, and it will give you ammunition for whatever weapon you currently have equipped. Big reason to use a pistol on these guys. That's a large health. Um, but that does make it a little easier in the sense that you don't see there's some ammo. Uh, you don't have to find like shells for your shotgun or you know, stuff like that. You can just generally use uh, an ammo pickup to get any of them. When my body was laid to rest here, my name 
was not forgotten, and my spirit was blessed in the realm of the dead. For centuries I lived in splendid afterlife, among the most powerful gods of the world. Now, my eternal sleep has been broken by a savage race of creatures known as the Kiamat. These beasts have stolen my mummified corpse and are draining the power from it to use as their own. If they succeed, chaos will spread across the earth like a terrible wave of fire, burning all living things in its path. The world as we know it will die a painful death. See you serious. Is the great one that must do justice for the sake of mankind and shun this evil. Seek out the six treasured artifacts that once adored my tomb, given to me by the most powerful gods of Egypt. They too have been stolen and scattered across the valley and are highly guarded. These artifacts hold great powers and will help you on your journey. To begin your search, travel to Karnak and cross the high bridge on the east side of the village. Here you will find a great sanctuary that holds the first of the six mighty artifacts. If you happen to lose your way on your travels, return to this tomb, and I will give you guidance. Fear not the power of the Kilmat. Instead, embrace the powers of the Egyptian gods. They will help carry you to victory. So yeah, this area right here kind of acts as like a little bit of a hub because um, we'll basically be coming back here on a few occasions uh, I, th I think it's generally like after you get an item you'll be not sent back here per se but you can make your way back here and you can basically tell you where to go to use it so whenever you see this camel that's the uh, indication that that's the exit for the level and then It'll give you the option to either stay in the level if you don't want to leave quite yet, or you can uh, move on. So, all right, so here we are, Karnak. This is the first like proper level. This is obviously just like a little bit of a tutorial. Introduces mechanics, um, gives you a little bit of a plot there. So, probably won't be going back here for too much, other than if we need to consult the Pharaoh guy. Um, so let's get into Karnak. Good, Nick. How have you been? I just ate a uh, pretty decent breakfast before I came on. Good. Good to hear. Yeah, I I think breakfast is a great meal, uh, regardless of the time of day. So <laughs> I often will make it. If only I'd gotten into that uh, room, I could have dodged that guy's shot. But yeah, so I'll often make breakfast, regardless of the day, or time of day, rather. talking about it when I first went on, of course. Uh, this is basically a source port of the Sega Saturn version of this game. And one thing that's kind of unique about Power Slave is that so many of the games uh, or the games are actually different, like every release. So the Sega Saturn one is generally considered the best version. Um, then there was a release on DOS, which is the one that I played back in the day. And then there was also a PlayStation release. 
but yeah, they're all pretty different. Uh, no, I, Blood is more like, uh, I think it's a little more Doom-esque. Alright, so this is basically, that's all we need to do here. I mean, we could go to some of the other places. Uh, maybe a little more like Hexen, I suppose. Although Hexen's like more about magic and stuff like that. Um, so let's see, we can go down here. This will get us back up there, but see, there's an elevator there. Uh, see, this is one area we're not going to be able to go until we get like the um, upgraded jump. And same here, we won't be able to go down there until we have the, I guess actually we can go down here. But we're gonna start drowning if we do that. So we're gonna need to get some upgrades before we can do too much here in Karnak. Um, I can't get that yet. I have to. I can't remember exactly how I get over there. Uh, Doom 64. Yeah, it's not quite as dark for sure. Yeah, I uh, I love like Egyptian culture and mythology and stuff like that. So games that center around that are like right up my alley. So that's a place. Uh, I don't know that we can actually get into it right now, but we have to have the ability to swim a little bit better before we can get in there. That's oh, uh, just a full health thing. Um, but yeah, so we'll be coming back to some of these places. I just wanted to show you. Oh, painkiller. I never actually played that one. Although I am aware of it. Did you finish uh, Doom Eternal? Let's see. Yeah, a little bit. It's uh, not quite as uh, action-packed, but it's cool. It's got its own flavor. All right, so this is the level where we're going to find um, uh, the jump upgrade. So. Much better at killing those things. Damn, generous with the ammo right there. 
So the, the symbols that I'm gathering here are basically keys, uh, in case I wasn't obvious for whatever reason. And even though we're using the same ammo type, you can see, yeah, it's more or less what it is. <laughs> Um, you can see that they, we do maintain different ammo counts, it's not just one uh, ammo meter for everything. You have found what 
of the six sacred artifacts, and your worth as a sturdy slave has been proven to the Council of the Gods. The mighty sandals of Comtech give you the strength to leap higher than mortal humans. Use this gift to scale the cliffs in the northwest corner of Karnak. The armed cliffs is a steep path that leads to a shrine in the mountains. The artifact hidden in this shrine is a gift from Solek, god of amphibious creatures. Alright, so that'll be our uh, swimming artifact. So, let's see. I don't think we can do too much else there now, so let's go back to Karnak here. Now that we can, uh... Jesus Christ, just fucking die. Uh, now that we can hit those, uh, higher spots. Is you do have to get the keys basically every time you come over. Which kind of sucks, but it's not that big of a deal. same exit that we went to last time, so let's go to a different part of the map. Can't get that quite yet. Okay, 
right, so we can go there. I'm going to check this out real quick. I can't remember if this is a thing we can actually do. No, we need to get the thing from Sobek. Alright, so let's get out of here. This will take us north. Sobek Pass, this is what he was talking about. Uh, let's see. and this are like kind of small. It's like your aiming needs to be pretty precise. Full weapon power. Save that for now. exactly know when this is supposed to be set. To be honest. Like, uh, time-wise. Okay, so... Oh, that's a full health, isn't it? Yeah. Not full weapon power. There's the full weapon power. Let's hold off on that for now. There's just some random feathers floating right there. That's what I'm talking about. The platforming is what's going to kill me more than basically anything else. And unfortunately, there are, like, no continues or, uh, like, checkpoints or anything like that. So that means we basically have to do everything that we just did again. Which is fine. But that is going to be the frustrating part of playing through this. Just health. 
I'm gonna get that weapon power, I think. Close enough to needing it anyway, so whatever. Not sure why that's shooting over there, but okay. back to the... Is it the weapon of war? I think that's what that was. The weapon of war. Door, essentially. There's no way to, like, save it. Uh, our game, that is, so. You basically can't screw up. have like names indicating it's like a temple or sanctuary or shrine or something like that. I don't know enough about this game to know that one way or the other. Oh, shit. But yeah, basically, uh, your game only saves like when you load into it or, load it. or like your progress is only saved. Get those points.
definitely feels like you do more damage when you're closer to enemies. So, it's like usually a good idea to try and close the gap a little bit.
have succeeded in collecting yet another cherished artifact. Your heroic skills have kept you from joining the Kingdom of the Dead. Travel south now, through Karnak, and cross the Great Nile River. There you will find a strong weapon that will break through the stone of a weak wall. Beware though, for the path that leads beyond will take you to a place where a horrible beast dwells. Sounds like we got a boss battle coming up. Okay, so... Let's go back to Karnak. Now we should be able to go through uh, waterways. There we go. Actually, I'm gonna check something real quick, because I am kind of curious. Yes. Okay, so that camel does just take us back to essentially where we came from. And in doing so, it also opens eyes so we can basically be connected to the rest of the map. Thank <laughs> you. 
want to say that was around here. We already got it, so we don't need to worry about it. Let's see. Okay, this goes back towards like, the beginning. Eventually, I'll have these memorized. Not sure how I'm supposed to get up there either. as far as I've ever gotten, I think, so from this point forward, it's going to be kind of unknown. Like, I did get pretty far at this particular level, but I died at, like, a platforming. 
firing section, so... Would not be surprised to see that happen on this run. In fact, I kind of expect it to happen. Actually reminds me a lot of like Turok. Yeah, this this is close to where I ended up dying. But it wasn't quite there. I don't think this stuff is instant death like the lava was in, uh, in the previous level, but still gotta watch yourself. <laughs>
Full weapon power does it for all your weapons. That's pretty cool. I did not know that.
Alright, this... I believe the section coming up is where I... ...did it last time. been here, so this is all completely new.
grenades are pretty powerful. I was kind of coming down a hill, like bouncing like that. When I tried to jump, my feet were not actually on the ground. level wasn't
head on the fucking ceiling. That's ridiculous.
use that. Please tell me this all resets. This is probably going to be a boss fight then, right? This looks like a boss fight level. It's got more ominous music than I've been hearing. <laughs> music in this game is awesome, for the record. I did go down there to get that. How the hell would I even get back up here? Alright, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lead with this. It like, seems I didn't jump around quite as much in the beginning part. It's easier to hit with this. Peace will bring you just rewards. A deep cavity has 
has been excavated in the south, where there is rumor of a fierce weapon that engulfs his victims in a breath of fire. Go there now and harness its power. Flamethrower. Or something like that. Cool. Uh, let's see. So we probably... Oh, you know what? That one room that had basically the hole in the ground, now we can go down there without basically killing ourselves. Assume we get up here at some point, maybe over here or over here. We go over to the volcano eventually. Cavern of Peril. Oh, more of the 
this asshole. So it's not an instant death on that, but uh, you do die. Ah! things are annoying. <laughs> 
before we go down there again, let's, uh, let's explore some other spots. Oh my god. So I have to jump like immediately. My instinct is to push back when I'm doing that, and I don't know why. Sounds like Turok. the switch I had to hit? Guess we will find out shortly. Oh, son of a bitch. Forgot to hit space again. Yes. Door sealed. Still. I need to find another switch, huh? See, that's where I... is that where I was? No, I was in there, so I need to figure out how to get in there. so we can't use that door yet. Can I just float all the way over here? Yeah. Save myself the headache of trying to go over there on each platform. So, let's see here. I'm not going to be able to make this jump, am I? Let's see... I can get that high...
Jones, alright. Okay. I like how there's like different containers or whatever in every level. They're not all uniform. Transmitter piece. Thank <laughs> you. 
these no more fish. can go back down there, but let's see. Can't quite make that jump, so that's about the only option I have at this point. Kind of go back where we came from. I can actually go. Looks like a thing I can probably destroy. I wonder if I have to like drain the water at some point. Guess we'll find out. Full 
weapon power. I don't really need that right now. There's another symbol <laughs> over there. Though. It's like M60 thing is definitely the go-to gun, in my opinion. It's just like pretty much better than every other weapon.
basically health tanks. Is that how that's working? <laughs> Full health. Uh, I'm trying to think of where I need to be going. <laughs> That was just where that key was, right? Okay, there's nothing over here. There's some fish down there. shows me where all those fireballs are coming from. I didn't realize that. Oh, and the, like, the little red arrows there off to the right, those must be with those stupid fish. Interesting. doesn't have anything. Not sure what the point of that is. Alright, so that's just back in here. over there. There's no real reason for us to be over there. If it was this level or the one prior that had that one door that was like sealed when we kind of swam under. I'm thinking that might be a different level, but I don't frankly know where the hell else it would be. Can't 
open door from this side. That's kind of stupid. Switch. So, like, close this off. Already hit that. I've already gone down there. I mean, there's like some timed door or something somewhere. doesn't do anything. It seems odd to me that these open up and then I can come back here to get that, but that's all that there is. Oops. Like, I would think there would be more to it than that. It really doesn't look like it. <laughs> Here seems to like trigger those to shut off, so I'm gonna do that. So I can like more freely explore around here without worrying about getting shot by these fucking things. Oops. There's 
switch there. So I was, my thought was maybe this platform raises up and then I can do something. But it's like an actual like column or whatever. It's not like there's a, a platform like this that floats up. All right, so we've confirmed there's basically nothing we can do. Over there. There's nothing in doing. Over there either. get up here, but it doesn't really do anything. Just like a safe zone from all those fireballs. Over there is basically nothing. Because that just has those two switches on either side that lowered these. So yeah, there's like nothing over here. <clears throat> this is the only real spot we can go. But we've already confirmed that down there is like nothing. Huh? 
All right, well, I'm going to call it there for now. Uh, got about 14 minutes over budget. It took me forever trying to figure out how to navigate this Nile Gorge level. Still don't know how to get the damn transmitter here. Probably need some other item that we don't have. Got the transmitter there. I've got the transmitter there that we need to get. So yeah, we probably just need some stuff that we don't have at the moment. Guess we can pop in here and just see what this looks like. Pretty, pretty standard. I think this is what I'm going to be playing later, uh, just because I want to mix it up. It's been a while since we've touched anything on uh, Super Nintendo or uh, NES, so I'm kind of feeling like I want to do something along those lines, so I'll, I'll figure that out between now and then. But uh, hope you enjoyed this look at uh, a lesser known FPS from the 90s. Uh, We'll definitely come back and play more of it. I mean, I feel like we're probably about halfway through the game or so. Uh, I don't know for certain. I have no idea how long this game is. But uh, made some good progress. We got, um, let's see, Arsenal Artifacts. That's what I want. So we got the Jumping Ability, Underwater Breathing Ability, and this uh, thing that helps us float. Got two pieces of the transmitter out of, looks like, five total. And it is actually an M60. A flamethrower is pretty strong. That's interesting, you can come in here and, like, manually flicker this on and off. Uh, anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna get out of here. I'll be back at uh, 10 o'clock. Get a couple hours in on something else, but until then, I will see you guys later. Hopefully, if not, have a good rest of your weekend.